Okay, life it's all about risk it and for me or for any chance. So I don't regret coming here. Fear. Eliminate the fear of unknown in you. Don't fear something that you don't know, you've never ever given it that try. Unless you have tried something, don't be scared. Hope you are motivated wherever you are. I hope you are inspired. If you had no idea about girls. What's up everyone? Welcome and welcome back back to my youtube channel i hope you guys are doing fine because i am fantastic welcome to another video thank you for stopping by and thank you for clicking this video it's another episode of interview series guys and today we have amazing ladies on board let's get to see and hear what they have to say it's all about keeping positivity and advising people and also changing people's mind about what they think about girls without further ado guys let's go straight to the video but please if you have not yet subscribed subscribe <laughs> kindly guys subscribe to my channel join the family and do not forget to hit that bell so that you will get notified anytime anytime i upload a new video stay tuned and let's go to the interview hello everyone wherever you are watching me from it's my hope that you are quite fine and above all we thank god for this beautiful day that he has granted unto us and thank you so much Polly j for this opportunity and thank you so much for giving me time to appear in your channel i am very much humbled for that i am gifted suzy Su, and currently i am working in saudi arabia as a house mate for how long have you been working in Arab countries? I have been here in Saudi Arabia for about one year now and seven months. My dear, I might be wondering, or some people could be wondering, why did you choose to work in the Gulf? Despite what people do believe, what people say about working in Arab countries, people are being mistreated, people are being killed, people are being tortured, but you decided to close your ears and to not listen to them and you came here. What made you choose that path? What made you stay here? Kindly let us know what made you do that. That is why I decided to come and work here in Gulf despite of all its one reason. Back in my country, job opportunities are very rare. For you to get a job in my country, you must have a connection of people who will drive you to want where the job or else the job that you need to go. And for me, the gap opportunity job was readily available, so I had to grab the opportunity. The other thing is, I am not from a uh, well off family, I am from an humble family and I needed to change the situation of my family as well as my situations and how things were in my family's life. Uh, what one thing with me is that I, I strongly believe in myself. I don't believe in people's opinion. I don't believe in anyone's or less what people say about something. What I do is that I am a go-getter. I am a go-getter and once I decide to do something, I don't quit until I achieve what I intended to achieve. So for me, I decided to just fix myself in the shoes, go and give it a trial. I don't fear something that I have not seen or something that I have not given it a trial. I had to fix myself in the shoes. Despite of all the rumors people say and talk of the Gulf countries, I had to fix or less I had to wear the shoes so that once I go there and be in the shoes, then I will come out with a strong personality or self. I will come with a strong testimony of how things are out there. Thank you so much. Another question. If time can, could be retrieved or if we can take back time, would you still come to Gulf or no? If time can be taken back, I think I can still come back here again because... 
for here i have gained a lot i can't count any loss the only loss that i can i can count it's just loneliness and missing back my people back at my home that's the only thing but when it comes to gaining i have gained a lot both materialistic and also personal development and also i have been able to interact with different people from different nationalities so for me i don't regret coming here in Gulf country at all at all cause from it i have benefited a lot and before we call it a day kindly i would like to ask you guys to give some advice to those people who are stranded back at home those people who wants to come here but at some point they're so scared of visiting these places or rather coming from their hometowns coming from their home country to search for jobs here what do you think is it possible or what kind of advice can you give to these people or someone somewhere is so ready to travel but because of the scary stories and everything that is being said back at home what do you think and what can you tell these people that i can give to anyone who wants to come here and maybe he or she is scared it's that don't fear eliminate the fear of unknown in you don't fear something that you don't know you've never ever given it that try unless you have tried something don't be scared of anything don't be scared of anything just give something that a trial you are flat trying it and failing you are family trying it and failing your parent anyone trying it and failing that does not mean that you should be scared or else that does not that should not guarantee you to be scared you should not be scared of something that you've not yet, yet given it a trial give it a trial fix yourself in the shoes and once you come out of those shoes you will have a clear testimony of how things are Someone's trying and failing, that does not mean that you too you will fail. No, you are luck, it's not my luck. Let's not be scared of anything. Eliminate the fear of unknown and we will go far and we will achieve our dreams. The other thing or less the other advice that I can say is that before you do anything, as I always say, let God be at the center of everything you intend to or everything that you need to do. Once God is in you, or less once you inform God in everything, everything automatically it moves on well. And keep in mind that your luck, it's not my luck. Thank you so much, girls, for clarifying and making us understand everything, telling us about your stories and about how you feel about this place and your experiences. I thank you so much and thank you for accepting to join me in this channel today thank you for your time and thank you guys for watching this video i hope it has helped you and i hope you are motivated wherever you are i hope you are inspired if you had no idea about girls if you were thinking about what to do or where to go please you have an idea of where to go please stay tuned and do not forget to hit that subscribe button to hit that notification bell so that you will be notified when we upload a new video and guys guys these ladies have amazing channels they are doing well they are advising ladies and they're also doing big jobs please let's just, just be kind and let's go to their youtube channels let's support them let's support our own please just make sure after this you go straight to the channels i will pin their accounts on the description button and let's let's do it let's do it in this channel we always make the impossible possible thank you for your time and until next time guys i thank you and may god bless you stay tuned stay tuned because another episode is on the way and it is lit goodbye guys and may god bless you